basically a forward stance if you're really driving your body weight this way. It's, it's just a really small moment in time, so you want to be able to drop your weight and still drive forward. If I'm just stepping into a stance, I can come from high to low really easily, but if somebody's really pushing on me like this, if I let my body raise, it's not going to be good. So I want to keep my hips low and able to step and twist through this so that I can come into attack even if, I, even if I'm under pressure. So the more I lower my center, if he's pushing here, if I can get my center low, then I can start driving back. So he pushes and I push back. So I can drop and load this hip and then come right back in. So if he comes into attack, I can be here and then right back in to where I can be striking around his center line. So when you're thinking about a front stance, it's not just a, oh, I'm going to get out here because you're probably already under pressure. So you have to think about accepting that energy, covering your center in case he's pushing on me to like knee me in the groin or something like that. I want to make sure that I'm able to go from here if he's coming into attack. You know, I want to be able to cover the center and then drive through to get into my get into my actual stance where I can attack him. So if he starts coming forward, I may want to be outside him to where I'm dropping my weight back. And then if that's just a, a motion or a way to get out of that attack and then right back into where I can come back into a different stance. So stances are always transitional and shouldn't really be a static thing. So when you're thinking about your stances, think about doing it and doing it under pressure. You know, where you're staying low and you're transitioning from stance to stance, that's what these are for. So I can come on in. So if he starts pushing me, I get my weight and I keep it low and then I can come in and I can attack on this side, you know, like this, or I can attack on this side like this, but basically working on our Nahanchi stances where they're like this and working our hips across. If he comes in to push, I can be pulling his weight down and then when he comes back, I can be attacking him and coming into that side and getting out of the side of his attack. So when you're doing these stances, trying to stay low, create that tension and then snap through, come back to a strong point Maybe you want your energy to go in two directions, like Shiko. So you can turn the hand and you can be driving in this way. Or if you're wanting to control him on this side so you can pull him into something. And then strike so you have like a little workbench and a way to come in and create power on this other side. So you get to snap your hip, you get to hold, you get to control. So stances are very versatile but we have to make a strong posture and strong position to work from so that'll be a good thing to work on stances today think about your stances try to stay low and try to stay where you can keep them keep them powerful even under pressure right thank you